Hey everyone, I'm Hamilton, creator of Hammy Labs and head wizard of the Hamniverse. On the channel, I talk about all of the art and businesses I'm creating and all of the work that goes into actually producing them and sharing them. So today we're going to be talking about how to script uh, the centering of text with Python Pill. So last week I released Labeled Intentions, my newest art project, which explores labels, um, how we use them, and how we perceive them. It does this through a collection of labels uh, on t-shirts, which are then worn by people and then seen by people. Last week I created a video about how I used Python Pill to actually create this project and why I chose to use Python as the mechanism for creating it as opposed to, say, an image editor. And in the process, I realized that I had to actually create my own helper function to allow for the centering of text with Python Pill. I figured because I had to write that, probably someone else had to write that or was running into the same uh, problems. So here I just wanted to create a short video showing how that function works for me and hopefully save you some time uh, from writing around. So with that, let's just dive straight into code. Cool, so I've just pulled up my text editor and I'm just gonna quickly walk you through uh, kind of what's going on. So here I am in my uh, labeled intentions generator, which is the project that I use to actually create uh, my labeled intentions project. Um, I'm pulling in a few of my custom objects and utilities, which should be pretty straightforward. I got a point and then RGBA for just colors. Um, and then we're just importing a few things from pill here. So here's the actual function itself, draw center text on image. We can see it takes in an image, which is a pill image, uh, a point, which is my custom class, which just has an X and Y. Uh, taking in the text um, that we actually want to put there, the font path, which is the path to the font that we want to use um, in case you want like a custom one or whatever, uh, the size of that font, and then the color that we want that font to be, which is again, that my custom RGBA, but it's just a color. So here we're creating a new uh, pill image, um, which is going to be the same size as that image that was passed in. Uh, it's gonna be transparent actually. Um, and basically the reason we're trying to do this is to just abstract our uh, manipulations to create our text away from any image um, or other things you might be doing in pill outside of this. Um, we really just wanna kind of have it be isolated. Um, and not, not attached in any way to any, any other operations that might be going on. Here we're using the image font um, class from pill to actually load in that font that was provided. Um, we're going to create an image draw here. Uh, image draw is just an oddity of pill that allows the modification of images. Um, so we just create that image draw from that text image that we previously created. And then you'll notice that we're using that image draw again to um, actually create uh, text um, here uh, and here. Now here I'm doing something um, maybe a little unintuitive. I'm actually projecting what the width and height of the text that I'm gonna pr produce for this font um, and for this size will be. And I'll try to explain a little bit why I'm doing this. So here I'm wearing uh, one of my labeled intention shirts so we'll just use this as an example of why this is necessary. Um, so when you're actually drawing with image pill, you're actually giving it a point, and that point is usually going to be like the top left most uh, point of a bounding box. So if we see text and we're trying to like put text here, um, and don't know which side is top left for you, but we can imagine that there's a bounding box on here, um, and this is left for me. So when we give it a point, uh, we can imagine that this is the point we're giving it, and then it's just gonna draw down from there. Um, so here when we're trying to center text, if we're passing in the center point and we try to just give it to pill directly, it's actually gonna start drawing as if that center point is the top leftmost thing, or the top leftmost point on the bounding box. But we don't want that because then the text is gonna be way down here. So in order to actually get the text centered, we need to do a little bit of math. We need to see how big is that text gonna be after we write it, and then do some math to make sure that when we have a center point, we actually are using the correct bounding box to get it back up here. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, as we go back to code, we can see that we indeed are using uh, this um, width and height of the text to uh, find that draw point. Um, we take the center point, we just take half of the width and half of the height and then um, subtract that and hopefully that gets us uh, 
a new draw point where the center of our text will actually be um, where we wanted the center to be. Next, we're using image draw to actually write that text. Um, see how we're using the draw point here to actually tell it where to do that, uh, passing in the text, the font that we already created, and then using that color RGB that was passed in to tell it what color to use. Um, the final step is creating the actual out image that we return. Um, here we're going to be combining the image that was passed in with the text image that we just created. Um, you can kind of imagine this uh, as in like layers in an image manipulation program. We have two layers and we're just gonna flatten them together uh, into one image uh, that we can return. And that's it. That's how you center text uh, with Python Pill, or how I center text with Python Pill. So hopefully that's um, useful to you in your future project. I will have the source code on my website and a link to that uh, below in the description. And I'll also include some links to my video on scripting labeled intentions with Python Pill and a link to my labeled intentions project page in case you wanna learn more about that. So yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching today and I'll see you next time.